Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raya J and I'm back with another video. Today is Friday my babies. I hope all is well with you all, all is well with me. And I hope we all are continuing to stay about happiness, peace and love. And I hope we all are continuing to stay determined, motivated and focused. And I hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that Allah has for us. I'm about to do a Chipotle mukbang, okay? I'm pissed because on the way home, I'm running my errands. My, um, like, you know, the juice or whatever, I guess that was at the bottom of the bowl from the mouth and the medium sauce was dripping out of the bag. You understand? And literally, it was a big mess on my seat. But, you know, I, I managed. I did the best that I can do. You know, Wookie's pajamas for her pajama day next week, it didn't get messed up. And um, also the Ugg box didn't get messed up. Her McDonald's didn't get touched. You know, it's just that it dripped on me on the seat, on the floor. But yeah, the Chipotle is still here. Let me show you that Chipotle. Oh shit, hold on. I don't have any clothes on. Well, I don't have any pants. I know I don't be wearing pants and I'm trying to eat. So yeah, look. This is the food. I got my cheese on the side. Actually, gotta go get some hot sauce. Okay, I'm back. How is it going? Well, with the interruption from their family, it's not going well at all. Tell me what you mean by that. I'm gonna put some hot. I know me and my hot sauce. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on my food. Actually, don't have enough wrapping paper to um wrap up the Uggs, so I'm just hiding them in the stash until the holidays, and then I'll give her the um. You know, I'll give her everything. For the holiday. Yeah, don't mind me. Okay? I love sour cream. So yes, I do lick the sour cream. All for that. I gotta eat before I gotta go get Wookie. Mm. Mm -mm. And not have her in well, your life. Considering that you were harboring her, I'm starving. I literally worked out this morning. Her, so ran errands, and I'm just now eating. And it is. Let me tell you what time it is. The judge at home said that there was no One twenty-one. So you know I'm hungry, right? You had said she's welcome there anytime. She is, as long as it's legal. Mm. Oh my god, I didn't see my prayers. Hold on, y'all. Thank you so much, all, for providing this food for me, distributing this food for me, giving me my body for the people that cook this food, and such a blessing. With this food, I'm so blessed, and my body and soul. Thank you so much, all, for this over experience, and inshallah, amen. Alright, let's get into it. Said, you gotta say your prayers now. Mm. Mm. When was the last time I did a Chipotle mukbang? It's been a while, right? Eh? Because the last time I ate it, um, I, had, I think I ate it like tw twice in one week or something like that. I was really done after that. I was like, I need a break. So CPS filed a CPS complaint. This from Chipotle. Supposedly from my 14 year old daughter who doesn't even have a phone. But she dies because Melinda got her a phone. And then there was an anonymous report. I'm watching the people's court. I don't understand how uh, another set of parents can decide they're going to parent this child. For those of you who did not watch my vlog, you okay. probably don't know what I got on my Chipotle well, bowl, but I almost get. I mostly get the same thing, but I'm gonna tell you anyway if you did not watch the vlog, but you should go watch it because it's pretty entertaining, you know? Come with me, run my errands, and hang out with your girl. So I have brown rice, I have brown rice, pencil beans, chicken, mouth sauce, medium sauce, corn, sour cream, lettuce. Did I say sour cream? Sour cream, lettuce, corn. She's on the side. Yeah, That's what I get. You really do have a lawyer you're talking to? File that lawsuit now so that there's a court order so that you don't have to rely on anybody else but that judge to see to it 
I didn't even check what time the movie started. We going to see Jumanji the next level? But do it. Don't wait any longer. How much? Trying to get order of protections, but because we're not related and she's a minor, they wouldn't give them to me. I don't understand. She's a minor, and that's why it should be granted. That's what I don't understand. But if you can't get it that way, then go into court for it. Now, what is this iPhone 6 Plus and Ugg boots and sweater? Those are the things she ran away with that Friday morning, never to be seen again. Which was reported to the CPS worker. Melinda had it, and then I have a message from the detective saying the dad says they don't have it, but I've never seen any. How do you know that Melinda had it with that phrase? Um, you said. My CPS worker wow. said I can try to get you. The That's not the same as knowing. This looked like a good case. I think I missed most of it. CPS worker saying that. CPS kids. Kids running away. This is real. This is real life, you know. According to a false claim with CPS and harassment. Let me hear from you guys on the falsity of the CPS claim. Did you call that in? Oh, no, this is so good. When she went to the hospital on the day she chose, Claudia chose on the day she was found. It was lightly drizzle, drizzling when I left out to run errands and come home. It was just lightly drizzling. I think it's coming down a, a little bit harder, but it's still like a drizzle. We're gonna be good though. Okay. Now, I know we took the cab to the movies and back. Let's talk about the text between the kids. Um, Who's talking to who in these texts? Jay, Jay. It's Tyler and Claudia, my daughter, and their son. I might blog, I don't know. I'm telling you that blank is definitely the moves I'm trying to torture her with you. I'm that taking Whoopi and her friends to the movies. She saw us pull up as torturers. I could imagine her being so scared knowing we're about to blank her up. I don't care, I'll go with you if I have to. I just don't want to leave your arms again. I hate waiting when it comes to you. I lose way too much patience and get way moody. I wish we didn't have to wait. Knowing we both want to see each other so much. She responds, I just miss you. I can't wait to just hold your face and kiss you. Who is like that? Talk him. He responds, if only, with how crazy we both feel. Like we could only give Christina, that's you, the worst of the worst, and nobody else could. Wow. I know you hate her. I hate her even more. She's the problem to everything. I wish she would just drop dead. Wow. Maybe a few months from now we can wow. make it seem That's like so we're apart or something. So if I ever run away again, they won't question you. Believe me, I hate her enough to know. I hate her enough. I know you have to despise this thing. Dropping dead even enough for her, for, though she needs torture. So she wishes death. Torture her so bad her body is irreparable. Wow, these text messages are terrible. Keep her alive so she's even more mentally unstable and kill her off as she lived. Her paranoid filled life if you could do that and not go to jail you know i'd let you be christina deserves the worst of the worst blah 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 you're gonna give me a lot of food the best always since day one you sacrificed so i don't think i'm eating no snacks at the movie it's more than fire let me see her on fire i want to hear her screams out for help as her flesh burns and sticks to her y'all hear that now let me ask you sir as a therapist for youth, are you perhaps thinking now that having her around your son may not be the best thing? It's not the, unhealth it's not the healthiest thing. Yeah. Because if this is what she's writing your son, and your son's in love, I know, so. maybe that you had never heard this. I never saw that. Exactly. How do you know this isn't going to be just another one of those cases? You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind, both of you. You think you have the facts to make decisions that are so weighty and that will have such effect on people's lives, including your own son, and you don't have the facts. You guys need to run, not walk, to a civil courthouse to file a complaint for their interference in your parental rights. You need to talk to your lawyer about it and you need to do it today so that it can get in front of the judge who will then 
order them not to have anything to do with your daughter. Quite frankly, I don't know how you can continue to work on this with two adults who have the hubris to think they know better and to continue to go against what you want as parents as a parent. and what everyone is working towards in unification here. All of the professionals, all of the cops, all of the probation officers, all of all of the therapists, everyone's working towards a goal that they are stopping you from achieving. I'm sorry, so, I'm so hungry. Being a victim, go to court and file a lawsuit to get the order that you want. You understand? Yes. In the meantime, I'm going to rule on what's in front of me here. You have a counterclaim for two thousand dollars against them for harassment. What's that about? About um, threatening to kill me, and my son. When? When he's looking for his daughter and she's no, there? After she was found to threaten to kill me, my kids, and my. But daughter. after that, you continue to have her over, and she's welcome there whenever you want because according to because your the judge, the judge, and then he would go there. It was okay. Right. They so he would go there, and they he know would know everything. I don't state. Yeah. They so know how, how is his presence it? there is to kill you, as opposed to to get his oh, daughter, I'm which is what they keep doing. Did you hear my question? No. Why are you deducing that his presence in front of your house would be to kill you as opposed to to get his daughter from you? His 14 year old daughter. She was already returned. Don't I'm make me feel away. I'm talking about after that. After that, the probation officer went to your house and she was there and you both face looked me in the face and she's welcome there anytime. It's perfectly legal and I'm going to keep welcoming her there. That's what the judge said. I'm not going against the judge's order. Do you hear what I said? Yeah. I'm talking about... I think you do. I think I'm talking to a freaking wall. That's what's happening here. I keep talking... He said I'm talking to real judges. She is a real judge. She's trying to be right that you don't understand the position. Get out of my floor. I've had enough of your laughing. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Listen to me. I need everybody to listen to me. Because our contact here is going to be over. Okay? But you guys have to go back to your children who don't listen. And I don't mean to... I know that, that when you have a child who become governable, that people get through this. That child will grow. That child one day is going to be a woman, a mother. She's going to have a job. And if there's a God, she's going to have her own children, right? Okay. And then her children will give her some trouble. And that's the day she'll look back at the two of you and beg forgiveness. And, you know, it's just, this isn't going to last. But you don't, you know, while you're working on this so hard, the last thing you need are two unrepentant, smug other parents interfering. So... I don't really care about up boots. I don't really care about a sweater. I care about lost wages because they hit your child. And when you sue for the rest of that money for pain and suffering and making a false claim, I oh, don't know the ones who made that false claim, but I sure the as heck know they're the ones who had that child in their house and have <coughs> a great deal pain and suffering. So I am ordering Mr. and Mrs. McManus to pay you the $5,000 cap that you are asking for in this courtroom. But again, it's not going to stop until you get that court order. On your counterclaim against them for $2,000, here's a shocker. No. I, I wish you the best of luck. Don't give up on her. No, because if she feels, but I'm really, you know what, I'm actually talking to you right now. I never will. I know. You're, you are her mom. There is no other. I am her mother. That lady isn't her mother. The lady who walked out isn't her mother. You are her mother. And she needs to feel like you're going to keep fighting. Okay? Yeah. You have to, you have to For shine her. as a mother. Thank you, Your Honor. Wow. Such a good case, you know, because you can show, you know, other parents and other people. What's right, what's not right, you know? But also very unfortunate, you know? No comment. No comment at all? No. Thank you. You know, you lost the case big time. I know. I hope they're able to get through that. I know. That's tough. You have more legal issues facing you in court. I know. You could go to jail. I know. It's possible. I guess the question is, have you learned anything from all of this? You keep allowing her into your home? I didn't allow her in my home. My husband did. I went home, but I should steal my ground and not have her in my house anymore. 
You know, I hope you learned something from this experience. Uh, she said no comment. She commented anyway. Does that make any sense? All right. I'm Mr. and Ms. Vasquez. This is really a rough, yeah. rough situation. No, I'm just happy to thank the judge for, you know, letting the truth come out and seeing them for what they really are, you know, jerks. You know, as parents, we have to work together. Our life was perfectly fine before this. We were a happy family, and we're going to continue. So Let's hope we can get there somehow, some way. We will. Good we'll be fine. Too. We've got to get rid of them. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Just so you know, Doug, they got money actually for emotional distress. They had said they were suing for pain and suffering. Just so you know, pain and suffering usually requires some kind of a physical injury that attaches to it. That's not the case here, but it is outrageous conduct, and therefore you get money for emotional distress. And that will do for this case. Litigants for the next case of the way in the court right now. This is the plaintiff, Philip. He played method of at a restaurant where she works as a waitress. And when she was in a bind, he gave her some money. Here she ran into another bind, and he gave her a picture of his crook. They offered her more money. Wow. Unfortunately, she had this crook up and charged $1,000. That was tough to watch. Then blocked his number and had to try to run out on the loader. So he's here soon. This is the defendant, Joe, and she yes, the plaintiff did give her money to help her out and told her she didn't have to pay him back. When she got on her feet, she told him she'd like to give him the money back. And he said she didn't have to if she had sex with him. She never expected anything like mm -hmm. that. When the plaintiff that owes him nothing is the money. That if not alone, she's a cute taking money and not giving anything back. Wow. All oh, parties, please raise your hand. One time you shared $1,000 with your Christmas bonus with this young lady, right? Yes. Did you wipe down about that? <laughs> Another interesting day. You and your wife give it to her together so she wouldn't get the wrong idea. <laughs> Next time, witness a defining moment in the end. I'm not interested in revenge. Any nominated Tracy Golden returns to Lawler SBU. I'm not even interested in justice anymore. Now she's back to seize the moment and face her attacker. You're gonna burn in hell. One order SBU. It all starts Monday at 8 on My 9. Get inspired. Create the room of your dreams at Raymore and Flanagan. You can explore and experience the looks you want. Find everything online. Feel it for you see the actual aloe vera? I love that juice. The fastest and easiest way to fall in love with your home. Find it, feel it, furnish it fast. Only at Raymore and Flanagan. Was looking for a tea and internet provider? We know you have a choice. This is Megan. Mm. She has Verizon BIOS. Somebody text me, they didn't text me back. Like, hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? <laughs> Why you hit me up then? You know what I'm Waste my time? Spectrum Internet starts at 200 megabits. Includes a free modem and security suite. I pay over $25 extra a month for a modem and internet security software. Spectrum Internet, 44 new, 9 plus. We switched our home phone service for $9.99 a month. Includes unlimited nationwide calling with no added taxes or fees. I pray my baby had a good day at school. I can't wait to see my baby. Too much. Who? Practically anyone who isn't America's best. Where two pairs and a free exam are just $69.95. It's not just a better deal, it's America's best. <clears throat> Anyways, my babies, I literally got like one, two bites left. Let's see. 
I am going to end the content video. I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love. Bye.